Topping the headlines, President Obama declares to the nation that Osama bin Laden is dead. With the help of local agencies, two alleged drug dealers are brought down in Nash County, and Friday marked the grand opening of the historic Douglas Block in downtown Rocky Mount. These stories and more coming up on your Newsbreak Briefing. From WHIG TV, this is News Break 31. Now, here's Marie Torres. Hello and thanks for joining us here on WHIG TV News Break. We're briefing you on news going on in our community. But first, it's national news topping our headlines. Shortly after 11 p.m. last night, President Barack Obama declared to the nation that Osama bin Laden is dead. Bin Laden named the face of global terrorism and head conspirator of the September 11, 2001 attacks was reported to have been killed in a firefight with elite American forces Sunday, then quickly buried at sea. This comes just months short of the 10-year anniversary of the attack that killed more than 3,000 citizens on U.S. soil. It was long believed bin Laden was hiding in caves, but according to U.S. officials, he was tracked down in a costly custom-built hideout not far from a Pakistani military academy. It's reported U.S. helicopters flew elite counterterrorism troops into the compound identified by the CIA as bin Laden's hideout and back out again in less than 40 minutes. Officials say bin Laden was shot in the head after he and his bodyguards resisted the assault. Officials also say three adult males were killed in the raid, including one of bin Laden's sons. One woman was killed when she was used as a shield by a male combatant, and two other women were injured. In President Obama's late-night address televised on numerous news sources, he stated, quote, justice had been done. In our local crime report, Nash County Sheriff's Office, with the assistance of Edgecombe County Sheriff's Office, Halifax County Sheriff's Office, and Nashville Police Department, arrested two alleged big-time drug dealers. The men are 32-year-old Leonidas Medina Guzman and 58-year-old Sotero Carrebra. Estrada, both residents of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The arrest occurred in Nash County last Wednesday during a traffic stop of a 1992 Honda Accord. During a search of the vehicle, two kilograms of powder cocaine were located on the men. Medina Guzman and Estrada were arrested without incident and transported to the Nash County Sheriff's Office. The two faced charges of trafficking cocaine by possession and conspiracy to traffic cocaine. They are being held in Nash County Jail under two million dollar bonds each. Nash County authorities say this was a five month long investigation and this investigation is continuing. In other news, tomorrow is your chance to turn in any unwanted guns. The Rocky Mountain Police Department is hosting their annual Gun Buyback Day on Tuesday, May 3rd from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Rocky Mountain Police Department. You may have guns in your home that you do not want to be responsible for, and this is a safe and easy way to remove those guns from your property. Police say no questions will be asked and no ID is required. You will receive cash for each gun that you turn in from $5 up to $100, depending on the type of gun you have. For safety precautions, you're instructed to drive into the parking lot of the police department and advise an officer that you have a gun in your car. Leave the weapon in your car and an officer will, will retrieve it for you. When we return on news break, it's the celebration of the reopening of a historic area in Rocky Mount. Stay tuned for that.
decades back. For a limited time, every Buick and GMC is now being offered at GM employee price to the general public. Plus, you can now get 0% financing for up to 72 months too. Where? Only at Davenport Buick GMC in Rocky Mount. But that's not all. At Davenport, you'll also get something that GM employees don't even get. A lifetime warranty. GM employee price. 0% financing and a lifetime warranty. See if anybody beats that deal. But hurry, this offer is for a limited time. And it's only available at Davenport Buick GMC in Rocky Mount. When it's happening to you, you'll hear from us. WHIG TV Newsbreak is reporting all the news, issues, and stories that matter to you. Call us at 252-885-1814, email us at marie.whigtv at gmail.com, or check us streaming live at whigtv.com. We're your voice, ready to bring you the news. The Country Inn and Suites is your home away from home with a staff that always treats you as family. If you or your church or company has visitors, give them a great Rocky Mount welcome with a special discount on their overnight or extended stay. Not only is the Country Inn and Suites a comfortable place, we'll spoil them with fresh cookies and complimentary breakfast. We are filled with luxuries like an indoor pool, fitness center, and a guest laundry. The business center includes a boardroom, connection to high-speed internet, and catering for meetings is always available. Call me, Donna Vachavis, at 252-442-0500 for a tour and or to set up your corporate rate. You're always welcome as family in the country, country and in suites, rocking out. To your news break briefing, I'm Marie Torres. Friday marked the grand opening of the historic Douglas Block in downtown Rocky Mount. Several area people, including those with the city of Rocky Mount, were in attendance. Here is some of our coverage and words from those who helped make this day possible. Good morning. Harambe. 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 This, this Douglas Block exemplifies the Harambe spirit of people working together for the betterment of everything. But as I was pondering on this, the thing that kept ringing in my mind is, look what God has done. Ah. Isn't it wonderful? Yes, it is. Look at what God has done. Just look at what God has done. And at this space and time in history, we need to see what God can do, you know? Because there's reason to be concerned about a lot of things here in America. But look at what God has done, and if he's done this, he can do a whole lot more. Today we celebrate the rebuilding of an old landmark. A place to remember our culture and our history. A time to remember and celebrate the power of God. And how again, he has blessed this Douglas Block to stand tall in promises, promises of economic and social progress. We give glory to God on this day for providing the thoughts and ideas, the commitment and preservation, the skill and talents, the resources and partnerships, the guidance and blessings that has delivered this success on this day. First, let me acknowledge the leadership of the mayor and the city council and the city staff, as well as the board and staff of the Rocky Mount Edgecombe CDC for recognizing the value of investing in this redevelopment activity. Again, I heard what uh, Mr. Bullock says that he walked right into where I was going in the book of Nehemiah. Uh -huh. <laughs> the book of Nehemiah focuses on rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem and the people who became the builders. The book of Nehemiah focuses on the rebuilding of the walls of, of Jerusalem. Nehemiah 4 and 4th verse, 4th chapter and the 6th verse says, the walls were built because the people had a mind to work. The walls were built because the people had a mind to work. The Douglas Block is reopening today because of the partnership of the people 
who helped on this project had a mind to work. And it succeeded in spite of distractions and difficulties, challenges and complexities of the project. The desire to complete the task to be done was greater than every obstacle that we encountered, right? And we encountered some obstacles. You can ask from the contractor to the architect to the city staff to the city staff, CDC staff. Uh, it was not easy to do this work. But the charge and the test was a great one, and our hands were prepared to build. The partnership and team that worked on Douglas Block uh, were determined to stay on the wall. Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 3 speaks to the importance of staying focused and determined so you can complete the work you've been called by God to do. The event ended with tours for all in attendance, you can see the complete grand opening uh, with our community close-up playing later on this week. It's now time for our Pet of the Week. This is Sandy. Um, she was found as a stray. Actually, she ended up in Vicky's backyard <laughs> and so we're trying to find her a good home. She's really, really sweet. Um, She's about three months old. Yeah. She loves the water. She'll sit for her treats and everything and she's just a bundle of love. She just wants a forever home to, let, to love somebody. She's at home now with five others and she would like to have a little bit of space of her own. And again, how old do you think she is about? I think she's around about three months or so, yeah. maybe a little bit more than that. Mm -hmm. She hasn't been vetted yet, but she is scheduled to be vetted. She will be fully vetted and um, spayed and everything, so she'll have all, she'll be up to date on all of her shots and everything. All right, and tell us about her personality a little bit more. She's just the sweetest little thing. She's puppy, of course, now. She's got that puppy love going on. Like I said, she's got five other dogs that she plays with at home, and they all get along well, and um, she, she listens really good. She's not trouble. She is house-trained already. She does not make a mess in the house. She um, she just loves life. I mean, you know, she's happy to see you when you come home. She's happy. She's just happy to be there. As you can tell, she's very content just sitting in your lap. She's just, she's just a good dog. All right. And tell us. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. And she seems to be really smart. This is her first day she's ever had a collar and been on a leash, and she is doing wonderful. Okay, good. Why is it so important to adopt? It's important because so many have to die in these shelters every day and you can get any breed you want from a rescue um, instead of having to buy one you can go to a rescue or shelter. I just think it's very important to rescue. When you think of a rescuer, you think you're the one that's rescuing the animal, but really the animal rescues you. They have so much personality and so much comes to your home. There are so many animals out there now. People are losing their homes. Everybody's having hard times. So They're having to give their children up to the pounds just about because they can't do it. It doesn't take much to rescue. All you've got to do is open your home up and, and take an animal in. I mean, we pay for all the vet expenses and everything. All you have to do is feed them. I mean, you know, and we need volunteers. We need people to rescue to get, like I said, I have five, you know, I'd have ten if I could, but we really need people to volunteer. So if you're not sure whether you want an animal or not, this is a good way to keep one, you know, for a couple of months or something like that, just to find out. But it's it's very important to, to rescue, and, and we would appreciate if anybody could open up, well, not anybody, but if you would open up your home and your heart to someone that would love you a hundred thousand times more than you ever thought, it would just be wonderful. And you can contact yeah. Sandy Holt with that because we, we really do need foster homes to, to help to not have to put so many to sleep every day. You can contact Sandy Holt at 252-462-0268. Thank you ladies. When we return, it's the latest in sports and weather. Stay with us.
decades back. For a limited time, every Buick and GMC is now being offered at GM employee price to the general public. Plus, you can now get 0% financing for up to 72 months too. Where? Only at Davenport Buick GMC in Rocky Mount. But that's not all. At Davenport, you'll also get something that GM employees don't even get. A lifetime warranty. GM employee price. 0% financing and a lifetime warranty. See if anybody beats that deal. But hurry, this offer is for a limited time. And it's only available at Davenport Buick GMC in Rocky Mount. We're your news team bringing it home to you with meteorologist Fred Holdsworth, anchor Marie Torres, sports reporter Edward Green, and Matt Havitt, our studio guy. WHIG TV News Break, your voice in the community. The Country Inn and Suites is your home away from home with a staff that always treats you as family. If you or your church or company has visitors, give them a great Rocky Mount welcome with a special discount on their overnight or extended stay. Not only is the Country Inn and Suites a comfortable place, we'll spoil them with fresh cookies and complimentary breakfast. We are filled with luxuries like an indoor pool, fitness center, and a guest laundry. The business center includes a boardroom, connection to high-speed internet, and catering for meetings is always available. Call me, Donna Vachavis, at 252-442-0500 for a tour and or to set up your corporate rate. You're always welcome as family in the country, country and in suites, rocking out. Staying tuned. Here to give us a look at this week's forecast is WHIG TV meteorologist Fred Holdsworth. Fred? Well, after last week's tragedy in Alabama and Mississippi, things are quieter this week, and we do have a system out to the west and northwest of us, but that is not in the same league strength wise as what we saw last week. Let's take a look at our forecast map and we'll see what is going on out there. The main thing is this cold front stretching from up here in Quebec province all the way down to the Texas coast. Several waves of low pressure moving along this uh, frontal boundary will bring showers and thunderstorms mainly in this area right in here, but notice there is no risk today. The, you don't see the yellow hatching here that we've been seeing for quite some time every day but it's not apparent on this map. There's a flash flood possibility from southeastern Oklahoma, northeastern Texas, all the way up into southwestern Ohio. And as these low pressure systems move along this front, they're going to slow it down. And the front will even stall briefly, <coughs> excuse me, tomorrow afternoon, and then make a run across our area tomorrow, late tomorrow evening, tomorrow night and bring showers and thunderstorms to our area late Tuesday night and into Wednesday. High pressure off the coast, this is going to be retreating further off and that will allow that front to move, but it will be inhibited by these low pressure systems forming along it. High pressure over the Dakotas today will give uh, mostly fair skies, a few areas of some light rain possible uh, in s western South Dakota and also a few showers and a little bit of snow over the Pacific Northwest. Another area of snow will be found over central Colorado stretching into Wyoming and southward into northern Me New Mexico. Some showers and thunderstorms will be also noted in the Florida Keys and along the extreme southern part of that peninsula. Well, let's take a look now at our forecast for today. 80 degrees our high with a south wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tonight, clear with a low of 56, south wind at 7. For Tuesday, sunny with a high of 87, south wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, excuse me, Tuesday night, cloudy with a shower and thunderstorm situation developing late. Low of 57, winds will be south, and they'll shift to the west at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Showers and thunderstorms 
on Wednesday, and those will be mainly during the morning with a high of 67. North wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. Much cooler Wednesday night with a low of 40 under a clear sky. Thursday sunny and continued rather cool with a high of 68. Thursday night clear with a low of 44. Friday sunny with a high of 74. And Friday night partly cloudy with a low of 50 degrees. Our high temperature yesterday 75, our low this morning was 53. And that's a look at your Rocky Mount weather. Now back to you. Thank you, Fred. And with me now is our sports reporter, Edward Green. Tell us what's the latest in sports, Edward. Well, there's some good stuff going on, obviously, with the great weather most of this mm -hmm. week. Hopefully, we can get some people going outside, taking in some of the local sports teams, and we're going to get one of those local teams right now. All right. Well, after a slow start, the Carolina Mudcats seem to finally be hitting their stride now as we turn the calendar into May. And the Mudcats dropped the first two games in the series against the Tennessee Smokies, but rebounded nicely over the weekend in Seaverville. Well, on Saturday, Carolina had to come from uh, back from an early 5-0 deficit to pull out the win. One of the hottest hitters for the Mudcats right now, Cody Puckett, put his team on the board with a three-run home run in the sixth to cut the deficit to two. Puckett came back up in the seventh with his team down just one and hit a bases-clearing double down the left field line to put Carolina up 7-5. to five. Ryan Flaherty hit a home run off Mudcats reliever Lee Tabor to bring the Smokies back to within one in the seventh, but Donnie Joseph and Nick Cristiani combined for a scoreless final two innings to give Carolina the win. Jeff Jeffords picked up the win in relief for starter Justin Lair, who was placed on the disabled list after the game. Rafael Dolis, who surrendered the double to Puckett, took the loss and fell to one and two. On Sunday, it was a pitcher's duel as both starters went through the sixth inning with shutouts. Mike Costanzo started the scoring in a three-run seventh for the Mudcats when he started the inning with a single and later scored on a wild pitch by starter Trey McKnight. After a bases-loaded walk later in the inning, Felix Perez had an RBI double to make the score 3-0. Perez drove in David Cook with a single in the eighth for an insurance run. James Avery, the starter for Carolina, pitched seven innings of four-hit ball for the win, while Donnie Joseph picked up his first save of the season with a scoreless ninth frame. McNutt took the loss for the Smokies. And it is an early start for the finale of this series, which, if Carolina wins, will be its first series win of the year. As you can see, they are currently underway, and today's game features starters Dallas Buck going up against Robert Whitenack. And this guy started at 11.30 this morning, and for a quick update, it is now in the top of the third, currently 1-1. One to -one. Both Carolina and Tennessee scored a run in the second inning. And after today, the Mudcats came home for a five-game series against Montgomery. So, Marie, the team is starting to play a lot better, and they would definitely be worth checking out this week with all the great games coming up uh, this week at night with the weather we're having, except maybe Wednesday looks a little iffy, oh, but yeah. still great temperatures this week. All right. Well, great. Thank you for letting us know that. Thanks, Marie. All right. This has been your News Break Briefing. Join us for mo tomorrow for our live news at noon. We'll also have the highlights of this Friday's Relay for Life event. For WHIG-TV, I'm Marie Torres. We'll see you next time.